Hey, my Geminis. This is your monthly for January. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Ooh, all right. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread. And I am going to lay the cards face down. So when I turn them over, um, both you and I will then know what, what we got. Okay. All right. My Gemini. <clears throat> this is a general read, so of course it's not going to resonate with everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, there again, my information is below the video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. If you would, guys, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright guys, here we go. Celtic Cross. Face down. Get this straight, I am in so, trying to get these out though. Alright, so how you're seeing yourself is judgment. I feel like there's something that, um, that you've kind of been neglecting for a while that, that you feel like it's almost like it's come to a head and you have to address it one way or the other. Um, whether you decide to whether you decide to pursue something further or just let it go. But I feel like you're hearing that call, like um, almost like um, not really all of a sudden, but it's like something hits you sort of thing, okay? Now let's see the energy around you. Hmm. Yeah, the energy around you. You have two major arcana so far. The energy around you is the magician. Again, um, you're being called to act. The magician makes it happen. The magician magician causes thing. This is your card, Gemini. Um, I feel you planning. There, there's something that you feel like you can't just act on. Um, like it, it really needs to be thought out, or or everything could be like screwed up. Is what I'm feeling. Yeah, your your challenge your challenge is I I feel is whatever decision that you make, make sure it's right for you and whoever else is involved um, and what you're making a decision on, whatever that means for you. Because this is a car where. Not only do people feel left out in the cold, feel rejected, but this is also saying that if it's somebody that you feel strongly about, that you love, is making them also feel like you'll be there regardless for the good and the bad, okay? This is through thick and thin, okay? That is your challenge. So either you guys are are deciding to move forward with, with someone and in that case your challenge is going to be making making that other person feel as though um, you will be there regardless that you're not um, like this is the last time that you guys are not going to be a, that you're going to be apart or that you're really gonna be there to stick it out Okay. Um, also, if you are deciding that that you are no longer wanting to be involved in a connection, it's um, I feel like it's letting someone down easy. Um, talking things out because if if you do decide that this is not what you want there's a possibility that you could be left feeling rejected at some point okay so I think the challenge is is for you to decide and and make sure that what you're actually making the decision to do is actually what's right for you because it does have long-term consequences here okay with the judgment being present okay um, Let's see, this is in the foundation of why you guys are here. The Nine of Wands. 
because somebody was truly hurt here. I feel um, defensive too. Defensive because they were hurt. And I think that's probably why you are really kind of studying or planning out how you approach someone. And these energies can go vice versa, guys. Guys, this could be someone actually doing this like to you or feeling this way about you as well. Um, there's Scorpio energy here as well. Um, Scorpio Sagittarius type energy. But um, somebody was very hurt here. So I feel like you guys are really trying to get it together how you're going to make your approach because um, you feel like there's only one shot basically because um, whoever this is 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 really has really been hurt and um, if if you get a word in edgewise it's going to have to be the right word is what I'm feeling okay it's going to have to be the right approach or else you know things may go to the left you know in the past I feel like you've been enlightened I think there was something about um, this person that once upon a time made you happy <clears throat> excuse me um, but not only that but Obviously, there, there was some breakup here, obviously. And I think this person brought you happiness once upon a time. You guys broke up. And somebody was already left feeling left out in the cold. Whoever, whoever is, is feeling wounded here, feeling very defensive, um, on guard, basically. Um... But I think you've been enlightened to like just how serious this connection is. That this is it, this is probably the decision is going to be what really brings you true happiness, and I feel like this is relating to this individual. Could be a Leo, like I said. Okay. Now the best possible outcome is that everybody will come out of this in a better state, like a better state of being. Um, you know, you won't be as worried anymore. You won't feel, because I, I get the feeling that you, right now you're probably, you're probably hurt. I'm not getting an indication of exactly what's going on with the other individual, but I feel like this is, this is a situation that you've thought about for a while. And you've been thinking about it for a while now. And I almost get the feeling that you guys are probably mirroring each other. This feels strongly like a... This feels strongly like, and, and I don't really like to say this a whole lot, but it feels like this really twin connection um, and I know Gemini's are the twins, but, but if we've got two nines here, those are single cards, meaning like it's a single effort within yourself, um, a struggle within yourself, trying to reach a certain potential or a certain level, you know, and, but I feel like the nine of swords is Gemini. And the Nine of Wands is the individual that um, that you're thinking about, which is the reason why you're showing up here as the magician, trying to make something happen, um, trying to make things right, I feel. I feel like once you make things right, this is going away. There's something in your heart, in your head, that um, you feel like you want to do. What's happening in the near future is, yeah, you're going towards what it is that you really want. I feel like this is this is excitement. I feel like this is possibly starting over, feeling kid-like 
with someone, um, that feeling of giddiness, you know, or either somebody making an offer to you, um, fire here for sure. Now, your outside influence is the Ace of Swords, and and truly, this is like being enlightened. Like you, you've like it's like you've received this message, and it didn't come from anybody. It came from within. It was something that you realized that you needed to do. Something you found out the truth behind. Um, why you probably felt this person made you feel like nobody else has ever made you feel or um, this person could get under your skin like no one else could get under your skin there's a reason for that okay most definitely there's a reason for that and that's why the energy you see the judgment and the magician that's the energy exterior to you that you have nothing to do with you're being um, you're being called you're being called to act Gemini's. Okay? You're being called to act, okay? Because there was something in the past that God, the universe, whoever, whatever you believe in, um, you, you feel like you came to this aha moment on your own, but you didn't. Okay? You didn't. But it's up to you, of course to act on what it is that you now know, all right? I feel like your hopes and your hopes and fears, we have the Hierophant here. Um, I feel like you don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to give up what it is that, you know, your strong core beliefs. But I don't feel like you need to give up what you believe. I feel like you probably ought to revisit and see if um, if you can you know do a little give and take if that if that is something that is necessary or if it's something that does not completely go against who you are um, because of course in any relationship there's give and take we want to get to that six pinnacle all right letting someone know that you'll be there for them through thick and thin gets you to that six six pinnacle if it is someone that you want to um you want to be with and in the outcome i see the six of wands for you another leo card this is success okay i feel like you guys will be victorious and i think you will be victorious once you address what it is that you already know what you know to do what you feel in your heart to do you're smart okay you're smart so, my Gemini friends, that is what I have for you for January 2019. You guys, I love you, and I hope you guys have a grand new year. I'm going to try to get out the year ahead readings. I am working overtime trying to get things out and do personal reads as well, um, but I'm working for you, okay?